Wow, look at that. Here they come. It's going to get windy in a second. This videotaped the... Uh, videotape the other planet and to the north of us and then this is the planet and then they're gonna swing around and it's gonna get windy told you told you saw a lot of debris man a lot of flashes of light told you it's the dragon hope it comes up yeah it's the dragon beautiful we had some pretty nice weather here in in Chicago, but you know, some of the trees, see, they just budded, but the weather might go back to cold, you know, back to 40s and stuff and whatever. So, plant life knows, hey, I probably shouldn't, you know, spring, everything all at once see look you can see the planet half lit right to the left side it was half lit see my neck swinging around and the big one is right there boom bam big one and the other one's going to be coming around that's why it's getting windy Might see some plasma up here, hopefully. But because of the direction, we might not see it. Oh, man. Oh. Yes, really nice looking. Really. Ah, oh, that's so beautiful. You see them all lined up. I like how they line up. See how it's getting windy? Yes, yeah, awesome. You know, it just started getting windy. Not like it was in India. We'll pray for those people. Oh, it's my dad in the back. I was like, say, what's up? Yeah, but we pray for those people in India. There were two lightning flashes. I hope it caught that. One over there and then one over there. I hope it caught that. Told you it might be some lightning. Oh, yeah, see. That's, you know. Yeah. Mm. See how the shadow in the trees, how they mate. They gotta understand how light works light also creates shadows and that's what you're looking at you're looking at shadows that are formed by the missing light so not only does light create light it also creates shadows so you get two kinds of effects on how you know light works and how it develops see oh there she comes see I love it when they swing around like this. See, when they came around, they, you know, they when they dip down, whoosh, you know, Earth said, whoop, okay? So we tilted more towards the sun. And on top of that, during the sun's wobble phase, while it rotates, it was also to the point where it was nearly closest to us so we got hit with it like a double whammy when it came to the extra energy you know coming from the sun so so we tilted downwards and you know like that and then you know the sun was orbiting so we got closer and it was like bam so you know we saw a lot of temperature variances but when they swing around, when they swing around, back, they're going to tip us, whoop, back up like that, and it's going to get cold again. Let's see. So that's how that works, and while it's getting windy. So, you know, let you guys in on a little, you know, you know, a little 
pertinent pertinent information. You gotta understand, if it wasn't for my father, you know, I wouldn't be here right now, living here. I wouldn't. And you must understand that four years ago, my father fell out in the bathroom. And at the hospital, when the doctors were looking at him, he actually died for 13 seconds and then came back to life. Now, for me, that's the most, you know, for me, that's the most, you know, arm twisting event, you know, that God had to show me, you know, to say, hey, you might be in the right place at the right time. Because my father did die for 13 seconds. He did die. And then, the, then a team of doctors since then were watching him while he was there. A team. We're talking specialists. And, you know, I don't, I don't like to bring that up too much, but it, it, it goes to show you, you know, you know, that I believe, you know, certain things for me, you know, to have been privy to is just more than a coincidence or destiny or fate or whatever, you know. Because again, it, had my father died then, I wouldn't be here today. In this spot, filming this event at this particular moment. So it, it's profound and, you know, for me, it's just, you know, I, I, I can't relate on how hardcore that, you know, stung me within to, sh to say, hey, you know, and then, you know, then during all this, when I was not wanting to do any of what he, you know, I didn't want to do any of this. I didn't, you know, so, you know, I guess I'm paying for that right now, you know. I can't, almost can't even force myself into the shower or do anything that would, you know, literally can't. Literally, I cannot. I can't talk myself into it, you know. I can't be bullied into it, nothing. Can't be shamed into it, nothing. You know, and it was because I refused to do God's work in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? You put this incredible load on me. So, you know, this incredible burden. I can't, you know, I have trouble coping, you know. The world's hurting right now. People are confused and lost. You know, people want to know the truth. People want their freedom back, you know. Because it basically goes to this kind of type of story. In the right hand, you have truth. In the left hand, you have lies. Once the truth is spoken, you can move on from that. But a lie has to be covered up by another lie and that lie has to be covered up so now you need two lies when a lie happens it always has a multiplying effect until it grows to the enormity uh, of being you know of biblical proportions you can't move on from a lie because you're too busy being held back trying to cover it up Not knowing the truth is one of the main focus and reasons why we cannot move on as a people, as one. You know, as individuals that point to the sky and 
you know, thank our maker after we get through, you know, a home run. You know, we gotta understand, you know, just things have grown to a point where, you know, are they unstoppable? Well, yes. They are unstoppable. We can overcome it. We can learn from it. You know, we can raise our intellect, our conscious, our enlightenment, you know, our joy, the love for everyone. A lot of, a lot of things can happen if we talk serious about it but those people in India oh I just missed some lightning over it those people in India have pray for you you know just like a week ago they had almost 37,000 lightning strikes in 13 hours we gotta understand you know we gotta be prepared for you know more events you know that are troubling. Love y'all. May God bless.